Welcome to Using Your Brain for Success, the show that's all about helping you build a better life using your brain the right way. I'm Liam Naden and I'm glad you're here. I'm sure you found me here and are listening to this because you feel there's something missing in your life. Perhaps you're struggling with problems that are causing you to feel stressed, worried and confused. They could be problems in your marriage or relationship, or perhaps your business is not where you'd like it to be. You might not feel fulfilled in your career or how you spend your time. And maybe you're worried about the future of the world and are fearful about where you think things are heading for both yourself and your family. Or you might just be disillusioned with your life, not knowing what you should be doing and just feeling empty and wondering what's life all about and is this all there is? Well, the good news is that there is a solution to the problems in your life. And as you're going to discover, we're not biologically designed to actually have problems in our life. And if problems do show up, we're biologically designed to be able to solve those problems quickly and easily. Now, I know this is a bold statement to make, but stick with me because this show is all about showing you that this is totally true and showing you how to finally overcome the obstacles that have been blocking you from living the life you truly want to live. And the key to all of this is an understanding how to use the most powerful tool on the planet, a tool which you already own, and that of course is your brain. And as you'll find, your brain is what is going to unlock an extraordinary life for you. You know, when you look around, you see that most people are struggling. So you're not alone. Everyone wants to create a life that is happy and meaningful and which gives true joy and fulfillment. And I'm sure that's why you're here. You're someone who wants to have a truly great life. Something inside you is urging you to seek more and you're not willing to settle for the ordinary. And I really admire you and commend you for that. But there's a problem, isn't there? And that's life is hard, or at, or at least that's what we've been led to believe. Because from the time we're born, we're surrounded by this idea that problems and stress are natural and that we have to struggle to achieve what we want and to be happy. And we're also led to believe that being truly happy isn't really possible. The best we can hope for is that by struggling, working really hard, overcoming enormous obstacles and beating the odds and with some good luck thrown in, that somehow we'll be able to achieve some sense of peace and happiness in our life. So life becomes a struggle and we fight our way through life, hoping one day we'll achieve success. But the thing is that no matter how hard we try, no matter how motivated we are, no matter how hard we work, how many goals we set, how much information we collect through books, courses, websites, listening to gurus, even how hard we pray, we never quite manage to feel truly successful. We may in fact have more wealth and comfort in our life than most people have in this world and have for that matter ever had at any time in history. But we still don't manage to get on top of our problems. And no sooner do we solve one problem than another one comes along. And we still never get to the place where we truly feel happy and in control of our life. And we never get what we really want, which is to feel at peace. So this show is all about showing you the truth that, and be prepared to be shocked here, the truth that life is not meant to be hard. And just because it's true for most people that life is hard doesn't mean it is true. Now, I know you might find that statement difficult to believe, but I'm not asking you to believe it. I'm here to prove it to you because my years of study on how to achieve true success and fulfillment in life and how we really solve the problems we face has led me to discover that the true answers on how to be happy and successful are actually found in pure science. And by learning who we really are and how we function in this world. And that science is revealing what all great religious and spiritual teachers throughout history have been telling us, that if we use our brain correctly, we truly can live a happy and rewarding life. And in fact, this is the life that we are naturally designed to live. So in the episodes of this show, I'll be bringing you ideas drawn from science, philosophy, religion, psychology, and more 
to show you not only how your brain actually works, but how you can use it to solve any problem you face, how to take control of your life, and finally start living a life that you really enjoy. And this show is a lot more than just information. I'm going to share with you the practical things that you can start using and doing right away to get your brain working right, working the way it's designed to, and to move your life forward in a meaningful and dramatic way, starting immediately. So my goal is to help you remove the pain from your life, to help you understand who you really are and the power and control you have over your own life and what you experience. You know, there's so much pain in the world, and the reality is that most of it is unnecessary. It all comes from using our brains the wrong way. It's the way we've been taught, but it's not the right way, and it's all come from a lack of understanding. And don't worry, this show is not going to be filled with complicated and technical scientific jargon. I mean, I'm not a scientist or a psychologist. So you're going to find that all of the ideas I'm sharing with you are easy to understand and very practical and relevant to your own life. So I'm going to start joining the dots together about who you really are and what really makes your life work. And I'm sure that like me, when I began research on all of this, the lights are going to go on. In fact, as we proceed through this, you're going to find yourself thinking, like I did, this makes such perfect sense. Why didn't I realize this before? Well, you didn't realize it because no one's actually spent the time explaining to you how you and your brain actually work. You know, isn't this rather strange? The one thing that we have that controls everything in our life, that keeps us alive, literally, our brain, no one's ever told us how it works. Actually, I'm going to digress slightly here and tell you that we have in fact been told how to use our brains correctly. In fact, every religion, every culture, and every great teacher throughout history has built into their teaching a set of instructions. The same set of instructions, in fact, on exactly how we should use our brain. But the problem is that we've lost sight of these instructions. We haven't been interpreting them the right way. Now, there are lots of reasons for this, which we'll touch on in later episodes. But when you understand how your brain works, you'll be shocked when you see that using it the right way has been taught to us without us realizing it. In fact, the instruction manual for living the right way by using your brain the right way has been available to us and everyone else all along. So I have a lot to share with you and I'm excited because I'm sure that once you start becoming aware of how to use your brain the right way, and why you haven't been using it correctly up until now, you're going to find your life shifts in a dramatic and exciting way. Once the lights go on, as it were, things are going to be very different for you. That's certainly been the case for me and for many people I have coached with these ideas. Because you start to see new and better ways to deal with your problems. You become much more effective at not only dealing with the problems you have, but also in stopping new ones from appearing you begin to feel much more in control of your life, where you direct what happens rather than being pushed around by external events. And you'll find you're doing more of the things you want to be doing rather than what you don't want to be doing. And your awareness changes. You start to see possibilities and opportunities rather than obstacles standing in your way. So as the result, everything in your life improves. Your relationships, your financial situation, your emotional state, and in short, you feel a whole lot better. You start experiencing the true joy for your life that you've always wanted, but which has eluded you. And you live a life of excitement with deep fulfillment. And you finally begin to feel that you're living the life you were born to live. Does it sound good? <laughs> well, it sure is. So I'm excited for you and excited to have you on the journey with me. It's going to be fun and rewarding, I'm sure. Now, I've got so much to share with you because this is an enormous topic, of course. But let me begin by asking you a rather basic question. How much do you know about your brain and how it works? Let me ask you that again. How much do you know about your brain and how it works? Well, if you're like most people, when I ask this question, your answer is probably, well, not that much. In fact, it may not be, have been something you've given a lot of thought to. Now, you might know that your brain is located inside your head, and it's what controls all of your bodily functions, such as your breathing, your heartbeat, your organs working, 
It's what keeps everything working in your body. And you might also know that there are various parts to the brain and they all have different names and different functions. You might have even heard some of the technical terms such as there's the neocortex which we use for thinking and so on. And if you've studied anything related to self-help, personal development or psychology, you might also have been exposed to the ideas that your brain is where your thoughts originate from and that the brain is the source of something we call the mind. You might even have heard about something called the conscious and the subconscious and that these are parts of your mind that influence your life. But the reality is that whatever you think you know or don't know about your brain, I can tell you one thing for certain. Your brain is much, much more than you realize. In fact, your brain is without doubt the most incredible, astounding, powerful, and forgive the pun here, mind-blowing thing that exists in the known universe, to a point that it is almost unbelievable. I mean, as Professor Owen Gingerich said, the human brain is by far the most complex physical object known to us in the entire cosmos. You know, in fact, if we even had the slightest awareness of how powerful our brain actually is, we'd be a lot more interested in learning how to use it the right way, so that we get what we want in our life rather than what we don't want. Now, I could spend all day describing to you the wonders of your brain and still not come close to describing it fully. But let's just take a look at a few things about your brain. You know, this small, seemingly insignificant lump of what's mainly fatty tissue, which weighs less than three pounds or one and a half kilograms, this thing that you carry around on the top of your neck, it contains something called neuron cells. And much of the magic in your brain is created by this unique type of cell called the neuron cell. And you know, in your brain, there are about a hundred billion of them. That's more than the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And even more amazing, each of these 100 billion neuron cells has around 5,000 connectors, which each can send and, and receive information from other neuron cells. And this is what spreads the information around, at, at, I should add, at a speed of more than 250 miles an hour. So the potential combination of these neurons and these connections has been estimated to be more than 10 followed by 1 million zeros. Can you imagine a number, the number one with 10 million zeros after it? That number is more than all of the atoms in the known universe. I mean, it's like having a computer network of 500 trillion microprocessors carrying out more than 1 billion billion calculations per second. This is what your brain does. Now, how can this be possible? It's, it's just, it's staggering, isn't it? <laughs> well, I haven't even scratched the surface of describing the miracles of your brain and what it does and what it can do. And it's your brain. But suffice to say, your brain is vastly more powerful than any computer on earth. In fact, they've tried to an experiment or tried experiments to see just how computers compare to the brain. And in 2011, an experiment was done in Japan using the world's, at that time, fourth most powerful supercomputer called the Fujitsu K computer. And that computer took 40 minutes to calculate what the human brain does in one second. 40 minutes to compute what the brain does in one second. Now, really think about that and what it really means. Because with all of that power, all of that computer processing power, don't you think your brain could be used to create the ideal life for you? Don't you think your brain could be used to find the solution, and I mean the real solution, to any problem that you ever face in your life? Don't you think that all of this unimaginable intelligence and power could be harnessed to guide you to avoid problems in the future, and to find for you what it is that you truly love to do, and for you to live your life in a way that you truly love. Well, it most certainly can. It's all there at your disposal. You just need to know how to use it the right way rather than the wrong way. Because remember, your brain, despite its power, is still just a machine. And that means it can only function properly if it's used the right way. And if you don't use it the right way, it's not going to be able to give you the results that you want. It really is as simple as that. Because imagine trying to drive your car at 100 miles an hour 
using only first gear with the handbrake on and with the wrong fuel in the fuel tank. It's just not going to work, is it? You're not going to get very far and you're going to end up with a whole lot of problems. You're going to damage, possibly even wreck the car and harm yourself even as well. And the whole experience is going to be very unpleasant. And it's the same with our life and with the machine that is your brain. Used the wrong way, you're going to end up with problems in your life. Used the right way, you're going to have a smooth and pleasurable ride through your life. It really is that simple. So how do you do this? How do you use the, your brain the right way? Well, that's what we're going to explore in much, much greater detail in the episodes of this show. But for now, if you can, just stop what you're doing and become aware of this moment. That you're right here and it's right now. You might like to close your eyes if it would help you to concentrate a bit, but you don't really need to close your eyes. In fact, you don't really need to concentrate at all. But just become aware of this present moment. What really is going on inside you and around you. Feel what it's like to be really here in this present moment. You know, most of us spend most, if not all, of our time just rushing around with thoughts and activity all over the place. And we don't realize what's really going on around and within us in this moment. We just don't notice it. We're so busy thinking all the time, we're feeling anxious with our problems and distractions, rather than seeing what's really here right now. So just let all of your thoughts and feelings go, just for a few moments. Become aware of your body, how amazing your body really is, with all of the various parts to it, and how everything works without you having to think about it. All of the things that happen just automatically. And notice your breathing and the flow of blood throughout your body created by your heart, pumping your blood through veins and arteries that if you stretch them out would be more than 100,000 miles long. And this blood that is flowing through you is carrying the oxygen and the nutrients that you need and it's removing the waste from every single one of the more than 75 trillion cells that make up your body everything you need to keep your body in perfect condition. And just think, all of this is directed and controlled by this magnificent machine that you have that's sitting right behind your eyes and between your ears, your brain. Your brain is doing all of this work for you, to not only keep you alive, but to shape every aspect of your life and what you experience. And it's doing this without you having to think about it without you having to worry about whether it's going to work or not. You don't have to worry about whether your heart's going to continue to beat or whether you're going to keep breathing. Think of the trust you already have in your brain and just how wonderful it is. And as you consider the power of what your brain is doing for you right now, isn't it true that there's a lot to be grateful for about your life? How truly incredible the universe of which you and your brain are a part of how incredible it is. And for any problems you're facing at the moment, anything that's making you unhappy, stressed, worried or frustrated, there is an answer. There's so much more to you and to this universe than you realize. And through the power of your brain, there's a marvelous life waiting for you. Your brain is ready and waiting to bring it to you. That's all for this episode of Using Your Brain for Success. Thanks for joining me, and I look forward to sharing with you in future episodes so much more about how you can truly create an extraordinary life using the incredible power of your brain. And in the meantime, feel free to visit my website, liamnaden.com, where you can learn more. I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye for now.